Yo. Yo, cat. Come on, clean. clean. Dirty grinder. These are my favorite videos. These are? Yes. I love the taking apart, cleaning, t getting them back together again. The most important step. The most important step. <laughs> Did you bring your Orbitz gum? <laughs> So, product line exactly. So this is the Ranchilio Cryo, and yes. you're gonna just show me how to take it apart. Yep, we've been using it. Um, we're gonna really just show you how to get it inside, kind of kind of clean out those uh, burrs a little bit. Okay. Um, left it a little dirty in here, so we can show that whole thing. Definitely um, better. You know, the the real question. I I know a lot of us we have shop back around here, so it's very mm -hmm. easy. A lot of people don't have a shop back, so um, you could do it the dirtier way. Just empty everything out. Yeah. Um, go grab that little, little air canisters just to kind of spray it. Okay. Um, really what we're trying to do though, so these things can just get dirty. Um, mm -hmm. Espresso's oily, it gets nasty. Um, we don't really see it very good here because this one's not been in production, but if yeah. you go to a regular cafe, you're gonna see these oil stains around them. all the way up and all the way up. Okay. So we wanna make sure, we wanna prevent that because that's just nasty. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just get all this stuff out of here. Mm -hmm. um, little shot fact, like I said, I'm cheating. One of the things with this, little levers off to the side over here, okay. basically. So we want to yank this out till it says closed. Mm -hmm. um, it's the reverse of what you're used to. Normally you're pushing it in. Okay. From there it'll lift up. Um, a lot of pe people, including myself, if you ever watched any of my prior videos, <laughs> uh, have some trouble. If you only pull it halfway, then it's not gonna. It gets okay. locked. It does release one side though, and you get this real awkward phase. <laughs> you awkward? awkward. Never. <laughs> um, from there, this is closed. So okay. what's nice is, of course, if you had beans in there, it would hold it. But this also would be a great opportunity to dump those out and um, wash that with yes. soap and water, so you don't have those. Yes. Those Ideally, oil stains. when you are cleaning, you're you're done, right? It's yeah. Like it's the end of the day. Hopefully, we're we're down to the bottom there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then you can take this back to the sink. Wash Actually, it out. There, wash it. Get some of that nastiness out of there. Okay. Uh, that'd be the way to go. You can see inside of here, I mean, I've got just nastiness. It's got some beans. <laughs> nastiness. You know, most people don't call coffee nastiness. That's just maybe, you know, yeah, you've you know, got issues. I don't sell coffee. I sell equipment. <laughs> um, okay, so now we're, you're going to use the vacuum to... Unplug your machines, though. Oh, so yeah. So you can see right here, it's plugged in. Mm -hmm. If you watch, it's going to start spitting. <laughs> because plugged in. Okay. Unplug it. Um, I promise you, you don't want that to be your finger. No, you don't. And I take no responsibility if it is your finger because I told you to unplug it. <laughs> Plus, you don't, I don't, you don't take any responsibility yes. anyway, so. <laughs> you know, I was trying to get the punch there. So we're going to go ahead and let's get some of that out of there and then we'll take the whole uh, top bar off. Okay. If you don't have a shop back here, there's not really much you're going to be able to do to save yourself from um, messiness. Okay. Um, you will need a couple tools for this. We will need a screwdriver. Take off this right here. So that's just a little adjuster knob? Yep. This is a little micro adjuster, um, but there's no way to get the actual top burr off. Unless you remove it. Okay. Luckily, it's just a nice little easy screw. If I can keep that centered, it'll actually come out of there one of these days. Okay. Um, so you can see right there, just a little screw that comes out. Yep. From there, okay. it's no different than any other grinder you've really dealt with in this class. Okay. You don't you have to take off this it. adjuster. Okay. Um, I would recommend doing that loosening at least towards the end because mm -hmm. you are going to have to reset that once you're done cleaning it. Okay. Lots and lots and lots of different screwing coming out of here. It takes forever. Make some noises. Don't worry. That's perfectly normal. Make some noise. Okay. And then we're out. Cool. So once we're inside of here, you can see how much just kind of gets all through here. Yeah. Now we have not been really using this this much, okay? We, we've put a couple pounds through it, but, but nothing it. like a yeah. couple hundred pounds, 500 pounds that people are going to put through. Mm -hmm. And that's already what happens. When this stuff sits in here for that long, when you do 200 pounds and you haven't cleaned this mm -hmm. thing, that's just going to start solidifying. It's going to harden inside of there. Eventually, it's going to start affecting your grind a little bit because it's going to overgrow. You can see how it sticks like that? Yeah. It's going to start overgrowing, and you're going to you'll see in some where it's so it's like this hard gelatin. Oh. And it and it and it funnels them down. So then we're not going to be able to be using the outside of these burrs. I see. Okay. Um so for right now, obviously, and here's why again you want to unplug it because my finger's down inside mm -hmm. of here. Um but yeah, you can see how much just kind of gets inside of there. Okay, so, so another uh, another vacuum yep. trip. And here is where, of course, you could, if you just had the little air canister, you can actually get that out. Okay. Take a little, I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> 
take a little uh, brush or I mean, even if it was Paint a brush, screwdriver yeah. or just anything to kind of get in here because we want to make sure we're loosening. You can see how even just doing that right there, yeah. my vacuum didn't get everything. So you want to get down if you can while you have this. And just... Really get everything out of there like that. Okay. The other thing people always forget about, and I'm gonna flip this so you can see. Mm -hmm. This little chute right there. Okay. That is the, un, it's just a forgotten part, okay? Again, right that's now. Where, but it's the most important part because that's where the coffee exits. That's where your coffee's coming out. Okay. So you can actually see it underneath here. Um, I don't know if I can, no, I can't. Okay. Um, <laughs> but you, that that's that when you hear the hold back, all that chamber, yeah. it's about from here to here. Okay. And so ideally we want to try to get as much of that out because that's the same theory is that you're going to start constricting that if it starts hardening. Yeah. Um, and, and it's just not a very pretty thing. And, uh, and so it's going to impact the, the flow rate of your dosage and all that kind of stuff. Everything, which impacts the grind as well because everything yeah. is based on that flow rate. Got so it. So if you have anything, a little small screwdriver just like this, just to kind of knock that out. Um, hopefully if you're using something like grind, you actually won't be seeing too much, much in the way of, of hardened. Okay. You'll always see this because as soon as I start it back up, you're going to have it. Mm -hmm. And most of that's just going to exit right out from underneath here. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, again, you can see I'm kind of pushing it back up there. And so you could use, um, uh, the vacuum may not be super great, but canned air really would. It would push it down into the hopper. Exactly. The doser hopper. Yeah. With the vacuum, I kind of have to get my, I'm coming up this side, yeah. I kind of got to get my finger in there and then I'm going to vacuum that basically Fancy out. footwork. Yeah. Okay. So you, you can see even still inside of here. I mean, you know, this this is really what we want to get to. Mm -hmm. so this, it takes a minute or so, but I mean, you can see how it's still kind of just built up just a little bit right there. So I've got a little screwdriver. Um, any anything a sharp brush. at all or yeah. Yeah, a hard bristle brush would probably work as well. Um, like a little brass brush too. Um, those those might be nice. Yeah. You know, to get in there. I I don't know what effect having like a brass brush would have on here. I doubt it would be any. You know, I I They're don't. They're pretty soft. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I just, I don't think you'd want to go terribly abrasive on that, mm -hmm. but I do want to get most of this stuff cleaned out of here. Yeah. Um, you know, same thing. You're going to get a little bit in here, but that doesn't actually impact you as much because that's not really ending up inside of your burrs too much. Now, um, uh, so regularly you want to actually, um, uh, pull that bottom burr up too, right? So how often are you doing this kind of extensive cleaning? Um, the always, always the answer is, is the more the better. Um, okay. I'd, I would like if you're doing this here, I mean, once every week or so, okay. just for getting these out, not necessarily taking your the full burrs, burrs apart, off, but just getting in there like yeah. this. Okay. But just getting in there and cleaning like this. Um, what about taking the burrs off and cleaning underneath them? Taking the burrs off and cleaning underneath them is more of a question of your uh, your ability. Okay. I think um, it, it is important. There is stuff that gets, because again, you can even see right here. See how much is just right there? Kind That's going to eventually that. end up underneath. Okay. Um, so ideally speaking, yes. And we, we've, on a couple of these grinders, we've ran you through doing that, taking off these burrs. And it's really just about taking up those screws and yep, cleaning underneath and then replacing them again. Exactly. It's taking these off here. Same thing in here. Inside of here, all you're going to have to do is just brace this. Okay. So you put something in the locket like that. And then you can Take actually pop the screws. Um, and so that's maybe every few months if you feel like technically yeah. you're you're yeah. capable. If if you're okay with doing it, um, it it doesn't hurt it one bit. The only okay. real fear is stripping out these screws. Okay. Um, and these screws are a lot harder than you think to find. You're not finding them at your normal, <laughs> no. uh, at your Ace Hardware or anything like that. So okay, that's, so take care with them. That's the only real fear. That's okay. the only reason I say that. Inside of here, though, when you are inside, you should always be checking, okay? Okay. You got to remember, and I know there's no way on YouTube for people to kind of feel this, but mm -hmm. there is a sharpness to this. Yeah. Uh, you can even, if you hear my finger... Mm -hmm. you, you can hear that. If it was dull, it really, I would have nothing to grab onto. Okay. Um, you know, in general speaking, I, I kind of always start on the outside. So I'll run my finger out here because that's the first part that's going to go away. Mm -hmm. That's going to get ground down yep. basically. Okay. And these are brand new burrs. So this is still very sharp even on the mm -hmm. outside. Okay. What you'll find is it's going to start progressively getting duller and duller. So that'll be dull. Then I'm coming into here and it's dull. By the time I'm in the middle, 
and it's dull, mm -hmm. that's when we want to replace it. Okay. It's roughly going to be 11, 1200 pounds. Got it. Um, for this grinder. For this grinder. For most grinders, actually. Most okay. of these grinders roughly carry around that lifespan. Okay. The big thing, though, is keeping it clean. So mm -hmm. if we if we gel, if, if it gets very gelatin inside there, you see how much is even inside, like, each mm -hmm. individual one there? Yeah. That'll actually start getting a, a jelly form inside because okay. of all those oils. And once that happens, now all of a sudden you have dull burrs, even yeah. though your burrs aren't actually dull. Okay. So now um, show me how to get it back together again. I uh, thought you were paying attention to that. All right, so going back together, it's a matter of spinning forever and ever and ever. <laughs> okay. If you haven't watched any of my other videos on these here, um, the big thing to remember is you just took it apart. We got to put it back together and, and hopefully get it close to where I want to be. Okay. You can see right there it tightens, right? Mm -hmm. That is because they bound together. So I need to be a little less than that. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it back in. And I'm going to start it right, basically right here. And I'm going to go down until I hear those burst touch. It shouldn't be too far. Right to there. So that's are they touching or are they just so, so close that they're starting to whir? They're they're, they're just actually they're, they're just so close. They're, they are actually physically touching. Oh, okay. You can hear it. Okay. Okay. So now that's where they're touching, and that's now where it's and, be. but I don't want to always. That's too fine. That's way too fine. So okay. we want to coarsen it back out. Um, you know, general rule of thumb on this, we normally go aim for about eight of these little notches or so. Okay. Um, so we'll probably be about right there. Now, keep in mind, that's just going to get you close. So okay. we, we just, our big goal here is to be within range. Mm -hmm. Okay. To is, start our dial in. Yes, yeah, to start our dial in. Because otherwise, if you're not even close, you're going to waste a pound of coffee. Okay. Um, this just so happened to work out good for me that I'm nice and level. Mm -hmm. But if it wasn't, you'd want to take this, loosen these, just little three screws, and then this will spin. Okay. So now, again, you, the, what this does is it stops it. It gives you a set point, so mm -hmm. that way I'm not just unlimitedly grinding. Um, and we can just go ahead and tighten that back down. Nice and level, split the difference, because we might be going one way or the other with this. Okay. And then that puts that back together. And from there, we want to get this back on. That's just going to set on there, just like that. Nothing special. And you don't care about what number you set it at? Um, no. <laughs> I don't. So, okay. we, and you, you'll see um, in some of the other videos that we do on these as well, you'll actually see that you can, this one, you can mm -hmm. set this to wherever you want. So, you can actually, you don't have to always just put it back on blindly. Mm -hmm. I can start off at a zero point. Okay. Again, it, just because I can, right, if I set it to a zero point and start it like that, where I'm zero in the middle, Yeah. Um, it doesn't, still doesn't mean anything. A number on all these grinders is still just a reference point. Yeah. So it's so that you know that you had to spin it five rotations. And so you rotations. know where it's at. When you come to it each day, you're like, oh, it's at 24 today. Now, you know, a little bit more humid. Maybe I'll take it to 26 exactly. or something like that. Yep. So okay. that it's just all reference point. But if it makes you, if it's easier on you to yeah. start at a zero to know where my reference is, okay. you can make that change. Cool. All right. So now we're all back together again and all squeaky clean. We are all squeaky cool. clean. Let me set that back on. Set that back on like so. And we're good. All I'm right. Back. So that is cleaning and taking care of the Ranchelio Cryo. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Kat.